Mount Pleasant Park of Vancouver. It's a beautiful day, got uh, still some shadows, about 11 o'clock. It's going to be a hot one today, so I'm going to see how many photographs I can take before lunch. So originally I had planned to shoot with the 56 today. In my haste to get out here, I grabbed my bag and it wasn't until I was on the bus that I realized that I had the 90 millimeter. So a little bit different for street photography. We'll see uh, how we do. Antique stores are always a good option for photography. I don't know what this is going to look like. I've got the reflection of the exposed aggregate in the window. I'll see how this turns out. Hopefully it's going to look like a bit of a double exposure. So I've come across this pole, which was erected in 1985. What I want to do is capture that figure on the left and use some of the shadow as some negative space. So if you've watched my earlier video on the Fuji simulations, you would have heard me say this. What is key though, is that Fuji does not automatically save the white balance. So you have to go in yourself and select the white balance every time. This is something that I wish Fuji would uh, change in a uh, future update. So go into your white balance, which is on the first page, go into auto, and then you can move the little uh, box up and down. And you can see on the very bottom, the numbers. So I've got minus three for reds and minus three for blues. I keep a note on my phone for each of these simulations as to what those values are. Again, I wish Fuji would uh, make a change in a future update. So let's go take some photographs. What I've found today as I use the Q menu to switch between custom Fuji simulations is that with the X-T4, the white balance settings are actually saved as part of the custom setting. When I switch, I don't have to manually put the white balance in like I had to do with the XD2. This is fantastic. I always had to keep a record of the white balance settings on my phone. I would then have to go in, uh, select that custom setting, and then I would go in and manually adjust the, the white balance. Not having to do that, having the camera uh, remember each time is wonderful.